at South by Southwest in Austin, and uh, it's an amazing experience. A very um, busy, awesome experience. I uh, had a lot of cool shows already. Uh, each one gets better for me because <laughs> the first one was like get off an all night plane ride, sleep for three hours, and then jump up in front of a crowd and be the guinea pig for the sound. <laughs> <laughs> and that was weird, but that's what playing live is all about. I feel like I missed that. I haven't like um, done like show after show for a little bit. It's always like getting used to like the rat race of like these live shows because honestly, playing live is is one of those things that like you just never know what you're gonna get. It, you know, sometimes the sound is bad, sometimes the time slot is bad. You know, and a lot of times it's good, or it's like you never know about the crowd. It's just one of those things that you have to roll with and uh, you know, kind of not get too focused on. You know one show, but I do. <laughs> I do. Some say when hearts race, there's no saving grace. It's cool. I mean, people just love music here. You know, you could make a living and be in Austin doing music and, and, um, playing music in Austin and, and you know the outside world might not know you sometimes but a lot of people come out of here and, and come here to make music and hang out and chill out. I heard that Robert Plant's here now, which is good enough for me. If he's here it must be cool. Kimber's amazing, like I can't believe like the scope of like, everything she does. It's like she's like wild. Um, animal <laughs> in the uh, songwriting respect is really cool and Gary Clark Jr. is just like a maniac you know, he's just like he walks on stage and you're just like whoa you know like like you're meeting like some icon from the 60s and 70s it's really cool so I enjoyed meeting him a few years ago I got signed out of South by Southwest with this bidding war I had my first major label deal ever and that was like quite crazy and then I spent the next like three years signed to labels and not playing at all. <laughs> Turned out to be a great thing because that and another like year and a half of, um, of writing, of having a publishing deal and writing songs for other people, I've, I've been in like songwriting school, you know, <laughs> and uh, it's been great. I think that's why I'm here now because I went to songwriting school and kind of learned a bunch of stuff. There's always something to learn about writing songs I would imagine, you know, I think, I don't know, I mean, maybe some people just start off right away writing great songs or whatever. Not to say that I'm writing great songs, I would never say that I wrote a great song, but I aspire to write a great song. <laughs> know what people are thinking you know when I'm performing because everybody receives music differently like you know I think I see them like responding well but like I never sometimes I just don't know what they're gonna say or, or think after and every time here it's been like a really nice response after and people have been making some nice stuff and it's been cool yeah.